What's up? Episode 37 of the BK Lounge, the biggest podcast in the world. Um, I'm just going to lay it down what I've been kind of into lately. Old Opie and Anthony clips, especially with Jim Norton, Bill Burr, Patrice O'Neill, and Joe DeRosa. Bobby Kelly's good, too. I'm not a big fan of Colin Quinn. And that's sometimes, I don't know, it's just his, his type of humor. He seems like a good guy, but it, it just doesn't float my boat. But every once in a while, he has some good sketches on SNL. But, um, yeah, it's just the old fuck. It's been really good. And uh, I'd never heard about this show, old an old show called Uninformed. And, you know, it's beautiful about that is it has a possibility of coming back because what i just heard on bill burr's last podcast was he got a call from joe de rosa and he was like i'm not gonna fucking do his voice but like they were like um just talking like people mention it people still care about it which is awesome for a fan like me i love comedy big fan so i'm really looking forward to that i've been really into jim norton just destroys callers. It's amazing. Anthony Cumia, he's great. And you know what's funny about and Opie, I like Opie. I like Anthony a little more. But Opie's still good. Oh, and Sam Roberts. I like Sam Roberts. I just I listened to this funny thing about Sam Roberts' dad last night. But um Opie and Anthony, it's like one of those shows that like it's in obscurity. You know what I mean? Like it's in the void somewhere. You don't really know. Like it was just I'm only 21, so, like, it was something, like, my parents would listen to, and, I don't know, it just, I never, and I never really had a way to listen to it or go out of my way, because, like, when I was 18, 17, 16, I wasn't really listening to podcasts or radio stations, uh, uh, Bill Burr, was, he's my introduction to podcasts, and it's been, it's been uphill from there, because it's, it's been hilarious. So I hope Uninformed comes back because that's a great show. Especially if they bring that therapist back. That would be amazing. Um, video game wise, I've been playing a whole fuck ton of Skyrim, but I'm pretty much wrapped up with that. And then I'm going to put the controller down for a while. I'm not a big video game person anyways. I have like a handful of games I like, and I just only play those. Like um, Grand Theft Auto is probably my second one. And the problem with me is like, once I'm in it, I'm in it. Like, I, 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 can't, I just got to keep playing it. So I'm going to enjoy this little break from that. What else? What kind of... Yeah, maybe we'll get to some music today. Who knows? Maybe this will be a, a half hour after a long time of that shit. I haven't done a full hour in weeks, too. So who knows? This might be, the, this might be a welcome back. No promises, though. So... I'm just going to hop right into some news. Oh, I hate that I have to do this. Um, thoughts and prayers. I know it's cli- it's not a cliche to me, though. Really, It really is not a cliche. This is from the bottom of my heart. No, I'm not crying like fucking Jimmy Kimmel. We're going to pull my son out, who's got like half of a heart and no legs and a patch over his eye. I name him Lucky. I'm not going to wield him out. And beg I'm I'm really I thoughts and prayers for uh, Texas the, the shooting another fucking asshole got a hold of a gun and that's the thing a gun didn't grow legs and just walk in if this kid wanted to take a baseball bat to school he could have done the same thing I took a pistol and a shotgun all right are we gonna outlaw shotguns now are we gonna outlaw pistols it's fucking retarded if everyone in the, I I'm surprised someone in Texas did that shit too. I don't know how he fucking got got to the school without getting shot. So really insane. So let's get into some other news. Hopefully later, but if it's not, it's not. If it's not, it's not. What do we got? Wizard World Philly. Oh, is that the convention? That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's 
let's see something else. <laughs> Ed Sheeran says, Small Bump is not a pro-life song. Ed Sheeran seems like a cool guy. Not a big fan of his music, necessarily. But... It's not terrible, I guess. Like he has musical talent for sure. Talented guy for sure. But um seems like an alright guy. He does a lot of cool shit. Oh my god, fucking milk me. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston to play America's first LGBTQ president in a new Netflix movie. I hate this shit. Where they like force things that have look, look, I don't care. If if it's a creative thing where they just they want it so they but like why do you have to force everything i don't i don't care if the president is black white woman in between whatever a fucking dinosaur as long as they can do a good job and that's what i hate about people who dislike donald trump just for non-presidential things and i get it he's a little more brash and outspoken and things and he could be tightened up in certain areas but that doesn't make him a bad president, right? The husband of the woman he ran against, who she might fucking run again, which is absolutely crazy. She just won't let it go. She wrote a book about all that shit. Like he was one of the, he's the biggest, uh, one of the biggest womanizers in political history. There's JFK, and fucking uh, Trump earned that shit. He's a baller. He's got golf courses, dog. Balling. I don't know what else you want. Look. And, he's, and his whole quote was, he said, they let you do it. It's not like, oh, I go over there. You see that girl over there? Yeah, I see her. I'm going to go over there. Spit in my hand and grab her by the pussy. He's, that's not what he said. But that's what they heard. That's why, I've, to this day, and like, that's exactly why the... Uh, what is it? The left thing? Left? Is it not Trigley Puff? No, no, it's not her. Um, the No Girl. The No, No, that girl. That's why she's so outrageous. And why it's so funny? Because that is what people who I don't want to say on the left necessarily, but people who can't see through the bullshit are like. And there's people on the right who are like that. They're just fucking wild. And there, there's a middle truth. And there's always a middle truth. And that's the hardest thing. I, I know this is a bad ex- a visual, visualization. But this is how I see politics. It's um, take a little like wedge, like a triangle. And put a, put a little ruler on it. You know what I mean? It's hard to get it to balance. Sometimes it'll lean this way. Sometimes it'll lean this way. But you got to just give it like nudges certain ways to make it balance and make it right. And I think that's how politics should be. But people like to just slam on one side or slam on the other and just kind of push it one way because they like to hold it. Like it's on, They try to make like a scale. Well, we'll put 100 pounds on this side. Fine, then we'll put 200 pounds on this side. Well, fine, then we'll put another 100 pounds. It's equal, like, you just got to gotta equal it. And you, you got to see through the bullshit and just make it correct. And that's hard to do. Because emotions get in the way, and we're just human. You know what I mean? We're talking monkeys, as Joe Rogan coined. <sighs> Fun times. And that's just like when uh, I remember Corey in the. Oh, never mind. This is a bad example. But Corey in the house, there was the president, and he was played by a white guy during Obama years. Now, it, it makes sense because that's like what the archetype for a president is. But it would have been fine if you put a black president in there. Well, it's happened. And you know what? It doesn't take away from the story. Oh, I think he was actually Spanish. I think it was a little Spanish. I think it was a Spanish uh, president. See, but the problem with this show is it's going to be, oh, how is she going to handle it? How is the, And that's... These issues, certain issues don't need to be in politics. And people confuse them and make them one and the same. Like, what? what don't you guys have straight people do what's the difference like what what do you want do you want to not get looked at weird because that's just not going to happen it's not normal to be a man in women's clothing it's not I'm not saying it's bad 
It's just not normal. If I put a dress on, I'd expect to see some looks. I'd expect it. And I think that's why they want it. And they want to be able to complain and be like, they, they want the the not fair thing. And I don't know. I, I didn't watch the show, so this is this could be a bad example. But there's the show um, Dear White People. And you know what? White people don't get triggered. Like, like I'm being triggered in a small way where it's just like I'm noticing something and I'm talking about it, but I'm not like going to tweet about it. I'm not going to try to get the show taken down. I don't care. But the fact that you can make a show called Dear White People, a black entertainment channel, but you can't do the opposite. You can't you can't make a a dear. I was talking to my Puerto Rican girlfriend about this this morning. It's like if I made a dear black Asian colored people you know what I mean just any kind of ethnic people it'd be fucking racist off the bat off the bat from the grip and that's that's why I see it's unfair but I don't care and I, I wish other people didn't care and we just stopped talking about race almost completely or if we did talk about it it was joking I wish people would make fun of white people in a joking way and then we give it back to them. And then you know what? We just get about business. And that's how I feel like construction workers and people who do real jobs, they do that. I don't know. Fuck. So she's going to be a lesbian. Yeah, all right, all right. Here's a question. If it's a lesbian president and she has a wife, is it the first and second lady? Is she the second lady? I don't know. It's probably going to do okay, unless it sucks. Unless it's just a bad show, but I feel like... Oh, Manziel with the CFL. Hey, let's see how that goes. Man, I remember when he fucking played. That was just weird, weird times. College, it was awesome. And right when he got to the Browns, dude, the Bengals fucked him up. MS-13 are a bunch of animals. I agree with that. Fantastic. Now let's go to the actual website. That was just Twitter news. Ooh, more fucking Texas problems. 17 injured in Texas chemical plant blast. God damn it. I'm sorry. Jeez Louise. Campaign sends mariachi band to the office of lawyer who went on tirade. I fucking love mariachi bands. I think they're hilarious. I wanted to get higher band for my principal as a senior prank. I thought that would have been great to follow him around. I don't care about the royal wedding. It's a fucking wedding. Just because you put the word royal in front of it doesn't make it special. It just has more money to it. Great. How do you not get buyer's remorse after buying a twenty-one dollar, twenty-one million dollar painting? That's what Pete Diddy just did. I, I'd stare at that painting for a week and be not even a week. It'd be like three hours. I'd just be like, "What the fuck did I just do?" Oh no! Do I have a receipt here somewhere? Oh, no. Get her back on the phone. Um, listen, just give me 20 million back. You can keep a million, but I can't. This is, this is ridiculous. It's $21 million. 
But that's what P. Diddy wants to do. I don't know. I can't do that. I can't look at a picture for $21 million. But can I see this painting? It's in my iPhone now. I'll print it out, make a print. I'll make it bigger than the way you painted. It'll be 20 feet tall. And it'll cost me not anywhere close to $21 million. Absolutely outrageous. But it is what it is. I'll paint my fucking self. How about that? It's whatever. Oh, yeah. News. More news. I fucking hate drivers, by the way. You guys start to start using your turn signals. Get Start uh, getting into lanes faster. Making turns faster. I can't do it. You're lucky I'm patient. Hmm. You got anything else? Hmm. Georgia high school shooting. Jesus Christ. Let me let me hear about this. Georgia high school shooting leaves one dead, one hurt. Police say. I bet the dead one did hurt. Sorry, that's inappropriate. Mount Zion High School. All right. At least one person was killed and another injured Friday night in the shooting that followed a graduation ceremony in jo- Jonesboro, Georgia. Authorities said. Told Fox News. Authorities told Fox News. The shots were fired after an argument broke out in the parking lot near the Clayton County Schools Performing Arts Center. The Clayton County Police Department said that, that the parking lot said the par- lot provided overflow parking for these those attending a uh, commencement for graduates of the Perry Learning Center, an alternate alternative high school that prepares students for careers. Everyone was stumbling over each other. The Trollo Presley, the Latroy, Latrio Presley. A family member attending the graduation told Fox 5 Atlanta it was caps and gowns everywhere. People were just running. Although held on the campus of Mount Zion High School, the authorities said authorities was not for Mount Zion students, authorities said. The number of suspects could not have been cannot be confirmed, but anyone could have been involved in was, was being sought, police said, adding that an investigation was underway. Police said during a news conference that the injured had been transported to a hospital. The last thing you want to do is have a situation at graduation that results in anyone being injured and definitely not being shot. Clayton County Schools Safety Chiefs Thomas Trowick said Jonesboro is about 20 miles south of Atlanta. This is a developing story. Please check back for updates. Whatever. All right. Well, sorry to hear that. All right, well, two things I'm going to end with. One song suggestion. I'll give it a couple. I'll give I'll give three. No, four. We'll do four. All right. Number one, Narcos, Migos. Number two, Lightning Crashes, Live. Number three, Warning, Notorious B.I.G. And four is one by Three Dog Night. I ordered that kind of weird. Should have been one, one, three dark night, but it is what it is. Got a banger, jam, jam, jam. All right. And then I'm going to add a song to close this bitch out. And that'll be it for this one. The Saturday episode of the Big Car Lounge. The biggest podcast in the world. All right. So what was the last one? Oh, this is a fun one called Big Cat.